Jeez, my guy is glowing on the sun. My guy is light skin. Topic of discussion today is non verbal communication. Wait, right. why do you think that's so important? And what are top tips you can give to guys, whether it be aspiring pros, whether it be people just trying to be successful, trying to get out of the matrix? What's the top tips? Why is it so important, Patrick? That's a that's a topic that I'm struggling myself with, nonverbal communication on pitch. But what I can say is, uh, I listened to the podcast with Lewandowski, and uh, he spoke about that, and he said that uh, he got criticized about. Uh, don't know if you saw, if you saw the situation with him and uh, Lamine Yamal, that he was uh, like complaining to him or something, and the people were saying that oh he's just a kid why he's complaining to a kid. But uh, Lewandowski said that uh, this is one of the forms of communication in football. If you got a bad pass, but your teammates is not aware of that, you need to show him. Like if, if the distances on the pitch sometimes are too, 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 too long. So like you need to show him with your body language that that was not a good passing. So he can learn and adjust next time. And the uh, mm -hmm. same thing with positiveness. If somebody gave you a good pass name, just, just say yes, good, good job, good job, continue. So he can give you the same passes. So it's like this uh, non-verbal communication that uh, is sometimes under talked about. Like it's more about uh, the verbal communication. Hey, we need to be active. Hey, we need to we need to uh, speak to each other. Hey, especially in the defensive line. But the non-verbal is important as well. If you make a nice tackle, celebrate. This will give you give you a big boost for the team. Same with if you score a goal. And you're just like Balotelli. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do this for a living. Yeah, it doesn't give your team good vibes. But if you go in and celebrate sincerely with your teammates, it just builds the bond in the team. What I would say is like even simple things when you're speaking to your manager, or when you're I don't know, um, approaching someone. Have a good posture. Just have a good posture. Damn hamchi. Okay. Don't be like, do, 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 uh, and then, and then when you're speaking, you know, and, uh, what's that about, man? Just speak with your chest. That's why people say to speak with your chest. Do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. they, um, they mean it literally, physically, but it's a, it's a saying now. Do you know what I mean? Speak with confidence. That's what it means. Speak with, like, have a good posture, open body language, okay? Speak with your hands if you need to. Okay, to kind of express your your statements or emotions or whatever. Okay, try be a bit more um vocal, but not literally vocal. Vocal for your body as much as possible. That's my top tip. Um, because first impression is so so important. Okay, smile. Okay, have a relaxed face, not like a like a straight face. Like you're about to murder someone, smile, be relaxed, okay? Don't be so tense, okay? Just relax, okay? Breathe, okay? Um, that's, an, that's another tip that I'd give to people. Take deeper breaths to become less tense. Because a lot of people, when they're tense, they're like, like they're going to kill someone, bro. I don't know what's wrong with them. Um, so that's my top tip advice in terms of like the simple things that you can do. Posture. Open body language, okay. Um, just show you become approachable, because if you're not approachable, no one's gonna speak to you in the in the dressing room. No one's gonna approach you. No one's gonna make little jokes in the picture or whatever. Then it, on game day, you're not gonna have that chemistry. You're not gonna have that um that bond to kind of play the way you want to play, to play that one twos or whatever kind of thing. That's really important, and um, a lot of young players don't understand the importance of it. It's like on the outside the pitch, uh, think of it uh, as of being like a Ronaldinho. So just smile on everything. You, mm. if especially if you are a foreigner, you don't understand uh, what they are talking about. Just just smile and. Uh, 
So, uh, but on the pitch, it depends on uh, on your game face. So you can either have the happy happy game face, a la Ronaldinho, a la let's say Neymar. You can have a serious face, a la let's say Sergio Ramos, a la Ibrahimovic, or you can have the medium medium face like Messi, or uh, let's say I don't know Iniesta, players like that. So like you need to adjust everything to your game face. Hundred percent. I I totally agree. Um. You just gotta find your happy medium, um, on what works best for you. But in all honesty, positivity goes a long way. Honestly, because nobody wants to talk or associate or be uh, around someone that's negative. Oh, it's so draining. It's so, um, so when you're giving, um, if you're letting them know they made a bad pass, blah blah, give constructive criticism through your body language, point at what, what feet that you want it. Do you want it on your back foot? Do you want it on your front foot? But literally point it where what foot you want it or whatever it may be. Or, or over here, or be like, yeah, run the long ball here. Yeah. yeah. Or be like, Ooh, whatever. Just point it wherever you want it. Um so that's my advice as well. Um as a teammate, you need to identify if you're giving the energy to the team or you are taking it away. That's a big difference. Like you sometimes you see players that they are just draining the energy from the team. So you don't want to be that guy. You want to be the one that is coming in from the bench, giving the positivity or even the game starts and he's like, come on guys, yes, we can do this. Come on, don't mm. don't give up. Come on, continue. Yeah. 100%. I, I totally agree with that, 100%. Um... What else would you add to that, Patrick? Well, I would say uh, it's it's one uh, <laughs> dark energy. There is uh, yeah. something called dark energy, and we both know about this. It's your dark side. So uh, this is uh, uh, this is this is a large topic, but uh, sometimes sometimes if you're using the dark energy, it can help. Mm. If uh, if your team is playing crap. And you're the only one with ambition. You need to tell them they are playing crap. It's no point you will you will tell them, oh yes, uh, don't give up, continue. It's nine zero, but continue. Let's go. No, then I'm a fair believer that uh, that the dark side needs to take over. One hundred percent. It's a, again, it's your ability to read the room and apply emotions and body language that is the most applicable to that to the energy the boom is given if that makes sense or to the situation or whatever it may be like you said that they're losing and half time and you're getting embarrassed for a nil or something and you're the captain or whatever that's your chance to kind of voice it out and be like just what you need to that then you need to kind of lead by example um so yeah again really really important but again what I would say is like ability to judge the room and ability to judge different characters and different personality for example if the guy is 16 or 17 and is young blah 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 and you can see that he's not he's not like Lemin Yamal he's struggling to deal with pressure he wouldn't do exactly what Lewandowski did no way mm. Otherwise, that's just going to crush him. Do you know what I mean? So you, you'd do it differently. You'd be yeah. like whispering into his ear, blah, 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 like that. So the, the media can't see him, obviously. Do you know what I mean? So you'd be like putting your arm around and be like, blah, blah, blah. So that you're giving that comfort, if that makes sense, to recognizing what players need to kind of maximize the situation and not just the room need to maximize the situation. Yeah, so uh, I have a good story. So I had a coach in uh, Polish third division. And uh, he, like looking back now, I think he was a cleaner. You know, he had the cleaner abilities. Mm. So uh, there was a game on uh, on uh, Saturday. We lost, uh, we lost like 3-2 or something. Bad game from us. Monday training session. He is uh, coming to me and saying, hey, Patrick, how are you? And I said, yes, I'm fantastic. All is good. And he said, I'm very bad if you ask me. 
And I said, oh, what happened? I lost the fucking game. You know? So, like, uh, it gave me so much power. It gave me so much energy for the session. I was like, fuck, that's true. We lost the game. I need to work harder. So it's about uh, having the ability to read people and what you can tell to them. Yeah, 100%. In terms of body language, is it always it is in summary. Ability to assess. Ability to be open. Ability to kind of um, learn how to adapt to different situations, different characteristics and different personality. And ability all in all to maximize the situation and the scenario to work it in to work towards a, a collective end goal. That's all it is really. Um both verbal and non-verbal. It's really, really key. That was a good clip. If you want to see more, check out this one.